Hi, um, I'm Hassan Ilahi and I'm an artist and I work with ideas of surveillance, security, privacy, uh, borders, migration, and so on. So I'm here as a Boss Foundation visiting artist here at the University of Minnesota in the Art Department. He's here to give us a workshop on surveillance and understand how it works and to what extent we're being surveilled and how we're being ignorant about it but at the same time how we're just not even acknowledging its existence. He introduced us to his practice, he introduced us to his experience, what is he doing, what had happened to him with the FBI, how is he manipulating that information, making us aware of how much information people have access to us. So we're talking a lot about body and data body and the, and the distinction between the two. We're talking about how our behavior changes, whether we're in the presence of being watched or monitored, what happens when our actions are archived on a permanent basis. These are all very pressing questions for today's society. We went for a walk to look at all the cameras that we can find. And in the campus in itself, there's 25,000 surveillance cameras. We found, I think, 40 surveillance cameras in 30 minutes, just around the U. We mapped the whole thing, and just to see the amount that 15 students can compile in 25, 30 minutes is quite impressive, and we are just scratching the surface. The cameras are everywhere, and then there's heat readers and all different types of sensors. It's completely changing what we, what we read and what we think of as photography. So that's also some interesting conversations that are taking place with the students in these workshops the last couple of days. As an artist who's quite busy throughout the country, I, I visit quite a few schools and have the privilege of seeing uh, programs across the country. And what makes the Boss uh, Foundation visit here really unique is the level of engagement that I'm able to have with the students here. I think the downtime has been the best part. Uh, sitting around with Hassan and talking about the Center for Land Use Interpretation, just getting suggestions from him uh, about areas of research that could move our work forward. Yeah, it's been a really special experience to be in such close contact with an artist who's been kind of revolutionizing the way we think about these technologies. It was nice to be able to like have that really close experience and get to know him as a person and get feedback from like, such a renowned artist. He's being very generous on, on sharing the information that, that he has, uh, not only in his practice and uh, touching in surveillance and, and uh, selfies and, and whatnot, but also in this bureaucratic institutional uh, thing that are the universities that is very helpful for me. There are students here that I've been with for, uh, for six, eight, ten hours at a stretch. Uh, and the kind of conversations you have at that level really change the interaction. Uh, and I remember as, as when I was a student, we would have artists coming in and we would talk and you know, you'd have that very, you know, you'd, you'd have that 20 minute studio visit, you'd have that 30 minute studio visit. And I still think about what happened in those 20, 30 minutes. Uh, but now, you know, this is amazing to being able to just sit down and not only during the workshop time, but also outside of the workshop time. And those are the really exciting moments. I can imagine so many so many more possibilities for my work, um, different arenas for my work. I can't even quantify the way it's shifted my worldview.